So the next setting we'll set up is the sensitivity. Uh, so what the sensitivity does is it attempts to correct any difference between the target boost pressure and the actual boost pressure by modifying the duty cycle as RPM increases. This setting is useful on a turbo that tends to drop boost pressure as RPM increases. And it can also be particularly useful to pull boost pressure up to target when it's rising very slowly, such as in very high gear and low RPM situations. The sensitivity setting requires that you have a target boost pressure set up in your duty cycle setting. You don't have to have the gain setting set up, but it's recommended that you set up the duty cycle, then the gain, then the sensitivity last. Boost taper is common on small factory turbos because they're typically sized for mid-range response rather than top-end power. So they tend to run out of puff at high RPM. The sensitivity feature can help reduce boost taper. It is adjustable between zero and 100, where zero results in no closed loop correction and 100 is the strongest correction possible. If the setting is too high, then the boost pressure might start to become unstable where it will consistently hunt up and down. So this is another setting that should be tested experimentally to find out what works for your turbo. If you notice that your boost pressure falls away at high RPM and you wanna to try to correct this behavior, follow these steps. If you notice that after you've reached your target boost, your boost pressure starts to taper away as RPM increases, then you need to increase your sensitivity setting. Conversely, if you find that your boost pressure is creeping up after you've hit your target boost pressure, then you need to decrease the sensitivity setting. There are limits to what the G-Force 3 can do with your turbo and wastegate. If the duty cycle setting is already set quite high, it doesn't allow a big window of adjustment for the sensitivity to adjust your boost. Once it reaches 100% duty, there's nothing more it can do. So that is the upper limit of what your set of the boost controller can do to control your wastegate. And ultimately, you'll need to make some changes to the wastegate spring or sizing. Because of this, it may not be always possible to totally eliminate boost taper, although it should be able to be reduced at the very least. Keep in mind that attempting to force a small factory turbo to make high boost pressure at high RPM can potentially increase your exhaust back pressure, charge temps, and also the turbo shaft speed without making any significant improvement in power. The only solution when you reach this point is to upgrade to a larger turbo, different wastegate spring, or both.